how to effectively convert a document to PDF. Documents can be produced through different originating softwares. For example, for text-based documents, they are usually produced using Microsoft Word. And for spreadsheets, for calculations for example, they are usually produced using Microsoft Excel. Drawings are produced with specialist software packages such as AutoCAD. The files generated with the original software, for example Word for text-based documents, are called native files. Although they often store and safeguard native files in a safe place, in most cases document controllers mainly handle PDF files. What's a PDF file? PDF stands for Portable Document Format and it's a file format used to read and exchange documents reliably independently from the software, hardware or operating system. And it allows people to read but not to modify documents. PDF files have sizable benefits. The first one is that they can be read on any computer or device, even if that computer does not have the native software installed. So, for example, if you send a drawing in its native AutoCAD file format to someone who does not have AutoCAD, the recipient will not be able to open it. But if you send a PDF file instead, they will be able to open and read it. The second benefit is that recipients and readers cannot modify the PDF format. So it's used, for example, to avoid uncontrolled modifications, concurrent modifications. And if you work on a project, for example, for a project involving different companies, the originating company of a document will typically only send the PDF files to the other company with the exception of as-built documents. In the recent years, readers using specific advanced software have been able to modify and amend a PDF. It is possible to protect the file with a password to avoid that. It protects the integrity and traceability of the document by avoiding uncontrolled modifications but also when you send a PDF file to a recipient, you have an evidence of the file exactly as it was sent to them. Another benefit is that it allows to display the document exactly how it was intended to be displayed. So for example, a document that was formatted with a specific template will appear exactly as what the template looks like, no matter what computer or software is used. And another example, if the document includes figures or spreadsheets or images, each page will be shown in the PDF as it was originally intended and designed by the author. And one last benefit is that everybody uses that format. PDF files are extremely widely used and adopted throughout the globe. And when sending a PDF file, you are certain that the recipient will be able to read it. An additional benefit is the size of the file, which is usually smaller in PDF than with other file formats. Here we have an example of the same document. You can see that the Word file has a size of 38 mega, while the PDF file is 22 mega. So, how do we convert an native file into a PDF file? It's recommended to convert into PDF from the native file itself. So, for example, I open a Word-based document and then I save it into PDF or I export it into PDF from the Word software. So, let's see in practice how we can do. So, we open the document in the native format, in this case in Word. And then we go in Save, Save As. 
and we are going to select the type PDF. And then we just click on save and it generates the document in a PDF format. As much as possible, it's important to avoid scanning documents to convert them into PDF. Scan documents are heavier than PDF converted from the native file. Scan documents are like images, so by default it's not possible to search for specific words into the document. You can have a look at our other video tip on OCR, which is a way to transform scanned documents into searchable documents. But there is a specific case which is, what if I have a signed page in my document? For example, here we have the signed front page, whereby the author, a checker and approver have signed the document. So let's say that you have a 16-page document with only the first page signed. The first step is to open the native file. The step two is to convert to PDF from the native software. The step three is to scan the signed page. And the step four is to insert the signed page into the PDF. And the step five is to remove the non-signed page one. So let's see in practice how this can be done. We previously have done together the step 1 and step 2. So we are going to start immediately with the scanning of the signed page. So that's the step 3. So I'm launching my scanning software to scan the page. And then I save the scan page as a separate PDF file. Then I open the PDF file that I converted from the Word file originally. And then I click on Document, Insert Page, Insert Page from File. And I'm going to go and browse and take the scanned first page that I have just scanned. Then you can select where you want to include it. So in our case, it's the first page. So I'm going to include the scanned page before the first page of the existing document. Now I have in my documents, I have the very first page is the signed one. And then the page two is the original page one, which was unsigned. So I'm going to need to remove the unsigned page, the one that was not signed, because now I have two first pages, which is not good. So I'm going to remove the one that is not signed. Just right click on the thumbnail and then click on delete. Now my document is back to normal. It has the first page which is scanned with the signatures and the rest of it, it has been generated from the native file, so it's searchable. Then I save and that's it. If you wish to know more about documents and document control, you can read our blog articles and you can also join us for our Certified Document Controller training course. That's it for today and let's meet again next month for a new document control tip of the month. Don't forget to subscribe and to check out our website at www.concepsis.com for more tips, tools and information on document control.